What's up guys, it's me, AG, and today we have arrived here in Athens, Greece, the ancient city of Athens, Greece. We're just exploring the National Garden right now. It's Sunday, so we don't, don't really, we didn't really have a plan for today because a lot of the restaurants and stuff are closed. But for now, we're just gonna finish off exploring the National Garden. It's a very serene place here. Then gonna walk around Athens, hopefully get some Greek street food and some Greek traditional food. I hope all of the places I wanted to go to are closed today, but that's okay, we'll find our way. I'm sure it'll be fun, let's go. Alright, we're walking near the charming Plaka neighborhood. I really love the pedestrianized paved streets here. We're just gonna hit up a place called Taverna Saita for food. It's a little hole in the wall. Let's go. All right, welcome to the literal hole in the wall, or shall I say like a cave on the street. You literally have to go down a set of stairs to come here to Taverna Saita. I immediately feel at home here. Just the feel and decor, you feel like you're at a Greek grandmother's farmhouse or something. There's the, some nice barrels on, uh, just, just above us here. The, the, the decor is very rustic. I'm so excited for their food. Let's eat. You know what, I'm just gonna make this a thing. I'm gonna have Greek coffee every day because I love Greek coffee. Gotta get one to start the day. Ah, strong, just that hint of sugar. Yes, Greek coffee, wake me up, baby. In addition to their coffee, we got some of their Greek house wine. And a very cute copper vessel here, very nice. Ah, refreshing. Okay, we're gonna taste those zucchini balls first. Looks, some, looks like some, oh, like some fried vegetable goodness. Oh, look at that, it's stuffed with all kinds of vegetables. Oh, it's got some, oh, it's got some parsley, some carrots. Some, maybe even some uh, fennel. Ooh, look at this, it's very interesting. Okay, let's take a bite. Zucchini balls, yes. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm gonna have the second one. Mm. Mm. That is really nice. They're so soft, but they have a delicate crunch from the outside. The, the yogurt sauce with that um, parsley flavor goes really well. It provides a creaminess to the, the counteracts like the vegetableiness of that bowl. That's very comforting. That's very nice. Wow, it's almost healthy for you, except that it's fried. Next up was one of their house specials for today. It's their grandma's spinach pie. Apparently their grandma's making spinach pie today. It looks very nice. It's like a cylinder of spinachy goodness. I mean, I already love spinach pie already, so hopefully this is good. Mm. Yes. Whatever his grandma's name is, I want to give her a hug. That's just filled to the brim with spinachy goodness. I feel like Popeye right now. I'm also detecting some sort of mintiness from that um, spinach pie. I'm not sure if it actually does, but it adds a very nice refreshing element that just makes the pie even better. The pastry is really nice as well. You can tell it's been freshly baked just a while ago. Very comforting, very heartwarming. That's your grandma's chicken at its best. Next up is also one of their house specials, so it's probably not on their menu, so they probably rotate it every day. But this is stuffed cabbage leaves with some mince. I believe it's beef mince, but we'll see. It's got, it's, it comes in a very nice white sauce. Okay, I'm gonna lather on the remaining sauce. Oh, look at that. Cabbage. Mm, that's very nice. I'm detecting some sort of acidity there, but I don't know where it's coming from. But the sauce is it's very light. Like, the sauce looks creamy, but it's actually really light. And that's just a flavorful, flavorful stuffed cabbage. The cabbage is just melts in your mouth. It's been cooked for so long. It just, just no longer possesses any crunch. And the mince is very nice as well. Very comforting dish. So we have arrived in our maids. I'm very intrigued. It was really funny because the waiter, he said, he was like, oh, we gave you guys extra because uh, we were late with serving them. But I was like, wait. We only waited like 10 minutes here. And in New, New Zealand, like it's a normal wait like 15 minutes. I was like, Sure, thank you very much, sir, for giving us extra, even though we weren't fussed about it at all. Like, but you know, how kind of them, how kind of these people. I feel very at home. I, like I said, are we family or something? We're gonna do a little incision to this very nice cod. Oh, look how, oh, look how juicy and flaky it looks on the inside. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is why cod is our official favorite fish now, guys. Look how nice and light the batter is. 
And this, oh my, oh my, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, I cannot help myself. All right guys, it's me again, Eliana, your official cod correspondent. We got fried cod with a bit of garlic sauce. But you know the joke, gotta eat it first without any sauce. Very nice. And I'll get the middle part, because that's where it's the meatiest. It's almost like fall apart. Uh, I was getting very hangry, but this just lifted my spirit. Wow. All right. Gotta add some of that uh, garlic sauce. Mm -hmm. This is slight flavor of garlic. It has a bit of like a, like a, almost like it has a bit of lemon, but very, very mild. It's really nice to go with like the fried fish, and it doesn't overpower it at all. Really nice, solid, solid fish. Alright, we're back from me. I'll be tasting her cod, that magnificent cod, but I'm gonna taste the squid, those charred pieces, the end of the tentacles. We've got some cherry tomatoes and some olives here. Some herbage going on here. I don't know what that is. Maybe some dried herbs and some parsley and some oil. Mm, yes, very nice. Mm. Mm. That's good as a nice texture. I got the tentacle, so it's got those like little charred crispy bits on the outside. And the oil is very light, but it gives it enough flavor to keep you entertained. As is customary, you can never get enough of that oily, saucy goodness. Mm. Don't go chasing waterfalls! Yes, yes. Shower in that delicious oil. I'm gonna taste this one that looked like it had some pork crackling, cracklingness going on. Mm. I'm detecting almost a, an acidic element in that oil. This counteracts the oiliness of the oil. I said oil too many times. But it's a very nice, very solid, very well cooked squid. I'm gonna cut into this big chunk of veal. Oh, oh wow, that just. Oh, whoa, that's so. Oh wow, that's very flaky. Got a bit of a flake going on, some flakage in that deep tomato sauce. Just gonna get some for myself. Oh yes, sorry. Okay, gonna try some of that veal in this thick tomato sauce. It also comes with some fries. I'm gonna get everything in one bite here. I'm gonna slather on some more sauce there. Yes. Okay. One magic bite of veal. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. First thing. That veal, it looked, it, okay, not gonna lie, it looked kinda dry and just flaky when I pulled it apart, but once you bite into it, it's anything but dry. It's just a nice texture. That tomato sauce is so heartwarming and comforting. It almost reminds me of some tomato stews that we have back home in the Philippines. Wow. And the fries, you know, like you can't really go wrong with a very nicely cooked fries with some meat. Yeah, this is a good view. Also, now that the restaurant has picked up a bit, there's a bit way more people now. The Greek music has picked up its form as well, and I'm vibing with it. Oh. What is this called? Orange pie. Orange pie. Oh, there you go. The most holy of Greek traditions. Free dessert, baby. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just loving Greece for their free desserts now. This is their grandma made orange pie. They just said their grandma just made some this morning. Wow. How can Greece get any better? And it just did. Wow, that's so good. What the? Look at, look, look at this glistening, syrupy, golden slice of a glorious orange cake. Wow. Wow. This face. <laughs> wow, that's just some orangey syrupy goodness. Oh my goodness. That's like one of the best orange I've ever had. Fraser's good never. Fraser's not eating. Step your game up. This is where it's at. Oh. That cake had the most unique spongy texture. It's almost like laminated layers of spongy goodness. Almost like phyllo, but it's not. But it's like a cake, but it's not. It's just, it's just some incredibly spongy textured goodness. Wow. That's 
That's actually one of the best cakes I've ever had in my life. Oh, wow, what a meal. I couldn't ask for a better start to our Athens food adventure. Incredibly family-oriented, homey, home-style meals. And they were so friendly, authentic, traditional Greek cooking in a traditional Greek taverna. That was Taverna Saita for you. Let's get going. So we're walking across the Plaka district and I just love the feel of this. It's so charming. There's so many eateries, restaurants, uh, souvenir shops, shops. Oh my, it's so lively here. It's a Sunday afternoon. I also really love the charming buildings. I love the feel of the streets. I love how pedestrianized it is. It's really cool as well. Every few alleyways or so, you'll see a glimpse of the Acropolis. The really charming old buildings just add to the feel of this very charming neighborhood. You know, and the streets are so lively today. The families are out, the sun is out. What a beautiful day to explore the Plaka neighborhood. Okay, random interlude. Dad just had to use the toilet, so we just hit up a random cafe. It looked pretty nice. It's called Tom's. It's one of those places that does mixed retail, like food, and they even sell some shoes and stuff, which is very cool. I think it's an American brand, but you know, we're just here, just for a little coffee break. They have an upstairs sitting area as well, if you just, you know, if you want to do some work or something. Okay, so I got an iced matcha latte. They call it the matcha ninja. I have no idea what that means, but let's give it a taste. Oh yeah, it's very mild on the matcha, but there's like, I don't know if you saw it, but there's like an orange peel in it, so it adds a bit of like a citrusy uh, scent, which is quite nice. Mm. Alright, got myself a flat white, just a little coffee break for now. Actually, the first flat white I've ever seen in the whole of Europe, and I've had coffee almost every day here. Very surprising. I guess I think, you know, it's, a, it's an Australian New Zealand thing, but very fresh, because I get this all the time in New Zealand. Flat white is my go-to, so. Oh yeah, that's not a bad flat white. I am very happy with that. One of the top tier um, coffee beverages I've had here in Europe. I'm not gonna lie, coffee in Europe has been like, okay, I'm, I guess I'm compared to New Zealand and Australia, so that's not very fair. I love my New Zealand coffee, but this is a very decent coffee, very nice. All right, random coffee break done. It's time to get a move on. Huh, look at this cute church. I just love how the small boy church is next to a big boy church. Okay, we have entered the bowels of the Athens flea market. It is an absolutely hustling, bustling, sardine can place here. I love the vibe. They've got everything from shades to musical instruments, leather jackets, bags, all you, whatever you want. They probably got it. I really love the feel of this market as well. It's rough yet organized. You have the more traditional stores. You know, it's, it reminds me of like, what are we? Are we in Divisoria? Are we in like the wet markets of the Philippines? It's very organized chaos. I love it. Very nice. You can get, even get a feed here. There's a lot of restaurants. Just, you know, if you want to go shopping, this is your place. All right, it's dinner time and we're sticking to central Athens. We're gonna be hitting up a famous Greek traditional taverna. It's called Taverna Klimateria. It's very near the, the, the central market of Athens. Just a bit of a walk away, so we're just passing that now. So let's go. Klimateria. This is an institution of a tavern. They have library music. It's very hustling and bustling here. I really love the vibe of this place. It really feels like an outdoor oasis inside. There's a lot of greenery, a lot of like clay, uh, brick walls. There's some wine barrels in the distance. You really do feel like you're out, outside, and like in the Greek countryside, but you're indoors. So I really love the feel of this traditional Greek taverna. They also do have live Greek music, but you do have to pay three euros a person if you want to watch it. So just watch out for that if you don't want to pay for it. But it is very entertaining and very loud. It just livens the place up if they do have Greek music. But sadly, we just missed it, but that's okay. We'll catch it another time. So we just got a few items from the uh, counter up front. They look so nice, so like freshly home cooked. Grandmothers love food, Greek 
fruit goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm already salivating. I'm really excited. Let's eat. You know you gotta get the house wine. Oh yeah. Oh, bit of spillage there. Very nice. Cheers, friends, to Athens. <sighs> Alright, to start, we got their stuffed peppers, stuffed with feta, um, spring onions and dill. It's jam-packed full of that cheese and herbage mm -hmm. mix. Mm. That hits the spot. This is a chunky sweet pepper in that tangy feta cheese. It's very crumbly. The, the dill and the spring onions give it that tangy freshness. Very nice and very sweet, chunky pepper. All right, the dishes we got look like an absolute spread. But first, I'm gonna start with the tentacly boys. I'm gonna start with the ever menacing looking octopus. It's cooked in a red wine sauce and even garnished with a bay leaf so maybe the, the red wine sauce had bay leaf in it. Also has yellow rice. Very nice of them. Wow, rice and grease. Loving grease already because there's so much rice. Anyway, just gonna take a bite of this massive tentacle over here. Mm, some rice. Mm, that tentacle is just so meaty and bouncy. It's not rubbery at all. It has a very nice texture. The red wine sauce I really like. It's like light, yet slightly acidic, fruity, astringent. Almost reminds me of an adobo sauce in the Philippines. It's got that like umami soy saucy flavor. And the, and the rice is also bathed in that sauce. The rice is a very nice, you know, textural addition and just a very nice carb to go with that uh, octopus. Next up in our cephalopod list is the stuffed squid. It was stuffed with um, tomatoes, red peppers, and onions. They look, look really nice. Oh. That's just good squid. The squid is really nice, really well cooked. But those veggies, the onions, the tomatoes, the green peppers, provide most of the flavor, that sweet, very sweet vegetable flavor. That's just, I decided that, that I just really love. I think my sister's piece of stuffed squid had cheese in it as well, so I'm sure that, I'm sure that tasted nice, didn't it, Yambi? Yeah, but what really shines here is just stuffing the vegetables, which is really nice. You know, it's like stuffing squid with vegetables. That's a very classic combo and it works really well. It's me again, Aliana, the official card correspondent. Also, quick note, the kitchen is right behind me, which is pretty cool to see. You, see, uh, you can see them like cooking out all those dishes, really nice scene. But yes, gotta taste it. Mm. It has that classic bit of saltiness, but meaty and flaky and moist cod. I think it's a very unique sauce. It's probably, it's definitely different to all the cod dishes we've had. Very good. Codfish uh, correspondent approves. One perfect bite. Mm. Watch out for the bones. Oh wow, I actually really like that. The fish is, has a very nice texture. It's flaky, but also like meaty at the same time. And the sauce is nicely sour. The greens are just already fall apart, caramelized. I really love my sour food. And it works really well in this dishes. That's very nice. Okay, just gonna break down this. Oh, this, oh, that fell right off the bone, didn't it? Oh, this. Ooh, the soft, tender beef. Oh, yes. Okay, let's just get some of that. Okay, this beef looks really fatty and just fall off the bone. It comes with orzo pasta, you know, that rice-shaped pasta that's very typical here in Greece, in a deep tomato sauce. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that beef. That beef is just so succulent, so tender. Wow. Ooh. And that tomato sauce as well. It's not just an, your average tomato sauce. It's got like a whiny, spicy, not spicy like chili, but like spices, complexity to it. It's, it I feel like it's got some allspice there as well. That's a very nice combo. Well, very comforting, very hearty. The orza pasta is a bit softer than usual, but it's still very nice. It just soaks up all that sauce. It just, just goes well with that fatty, you know, I'm gonna have one more bite, with that fatty, fatty beef that just heavenly. Ah. That's so tender. Wow, the fat is just insane. Hey man, that was some comforting, hearty, rustic, Greek traditional food here at this lovely Wait, traditional tavern. Wow, every dish was just home cooked grandmother goodness. Anyway, I think we're just gonna walk back to the hotel. That was some very nice Greek tavern food. Let's go.
Okay, we made it back to the apartment, but what an incredible first day here in beautiful Athens city. We just spent the day roaming around, just um, getting oriented with the place. We explored the flea market, the charming Plaka neighborhood, and some other sites as well. But especially, I just love the food, the home-cooked Greek goodness that we experienced on our first day at both Taverna Saita and Taverna Klimateria. Just home-cooked Greek tavern goodness. And yeah, that caps off our first day here in Athens. We didn't really do much today because it was a Sunday and a lot of the places I wanted to go to are closed and a lot of sites are busier on Sundays. So we're just gonna leave the main stuff like the Acropolis and stuff for tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I am so excited to just explore the city more. I'm just loving the vibe of this place. It's so lively and energetic and just, all, but also like kind of relaxed at the same time, which I'm loving. Uh, anyway, guys, that'll do for today's video. Thank you guys for watching an another one of our food and travel videos and I will see you guys on the next one.